tried in uh, uh, several uh, spaces. So <clears throat> I'm going to start the recording. I hope uh, everyone is okay with it. Um, so uh, just uh, reiterating the point that I was saying, the school synergy session is basically uh, sessions in which we get a chance uh, to share ideas about innovative teaching and for teachers and teacher educators to exchange their ideas. We have been um, uh, holding these sessions for past three years. And uh, today uh, we are very fortunate uh, to have with us uh, Mr. Prem Raj Joshi, uh, who is working in Nepal. And he has been a high school teacher, also a teaching assistant at Kailali campus uh, 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 for uh, uh, teaching uh, at college itself. And uh, he has also been associated uh, as a fellow for multimodal approach to teacher professional development. It is basically the regional uh, grant way uh, by IDRC KIX uh, GPE uh, for, uh, you know, uh, supporting the innovative pedagogies in teacher professional development and <laughs> developing capacities of uh, teacher educators <laughs> and teachers <laughs> through uh, distance education. Uh, we are very fortunate to have him here because he has actually tried out action research with five teachers uh, in uh, Nepal. And today he is going to share uh, his experience of using FET simulation an open educational resource uh, with the five teachers and the kind of experiences he has had and what has worked in his action research in uh, Nepal and what has not. So please welcome uh, Mr. Prem Raj Joshi. I'm going to spotlight him uh, just one minute. Okay. Yes, Prem Raj. <clears throat> thank, thank you very much, Ruzi uh, Ma'am, for this. Uh, for providing me this uh, wonderful opportunity to uh, share my ideas and uh, to share my experiences for providing this platform uh, where I, uh, I will uh, discuss or I will interact with the teachers. Um, so as uh, already Rusi ma'am already uh, introduced me, uh, I am Premrat Joshi, I am from Nepal and uh, I am associated with the uh, Tata Institute of Social Science uh, for a project, multi MATPD project. And uh, from uh, 22, 2022 May, uh, I am in continuously engaged with the uh, Tata Institute. And basically, uh, in uh, over the last eight, nine months, uh, uh, I, I have conducted action research with the teachers. Uh, so today, I basically uh, share my experiences uh, of working with the teachers and uh, what kind of the challenges and challenges and opportunities basically. And uh, meanwhile, uh, you can raise your any any kind of uh, experiences or any kind of queries at any time. So feel free to share uh, your views and ideas because I I thought that uh, this this is a kind of uh, you know. Uh, learning uh, platform so uh, i may also learn a lot of things from you also uh, so uh, so and uh, now i am going to present my slides uh, so then i will continue so uh, is my screen is visible here okay thank you yes it is visible okay. you can uh, yeah. do uh, actually the powerpoint mode the okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, uh, now <laughs> this is absolutely okay. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, uh, so this is uh, the, the uh, title or the topic uh, which I have chosen for uh, this today's session. Uh, so, basically, action research using uh, pet simulation to teach uh, current electricity. Uh, so, I will discuss about uh, the action research about pet simulation and uh, how we can uh, use this pet simulation, especially in teaching uh, current electricity. Meanwhile, I also uh, request the teachers, uh, all the participant teachers to share your ideas and views. Uh, if you have already used this uh, pet simulation or any other form of the simulation uh, in your teaching uh, career, or if you are using it. Uh, so, so basically, I am uh, I am planning that my presentation or this my uh, in this session I will first uh, 
discuss about some uh, introduction or background regarding uh, uh, about this project and about the fit simulation and all and then uh, in the middle section i will uh, demonstrate uh, how electrical circuits can be designed in the through with the help of fit uh, fit and uh, in the third uh, section i will uh, discuss about uh, the action research uh, uh, about my ex experiences of the action research and uh, the findings uh, what kind of finding i have got from the action research also uh, so uh, this is very brief introduction i already uh, give my brief overview of uh, already also uh, so um, about this project also uh, rosie ma'am already uh, discussed about that i'm involved with this project metpd project and uh, uh, it uh, its uh, timeline was from may uh, 2022 but still uh, i mean continuously working on this project and uh, for this uh, uh, action research, uh, I actually worked with the five uh, science teachers. Uh, they are actually uh, working in the different schools and uh, 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 in the in the grade nine. So my uh, my concern was uh, to teach uh, the current electricity uh, in the in the grade nine. So uh, now let me. Um, uh, so I am I just uh, want to open the floor for all of you. Uh, Please, uh, you can share uh, also uh, what kind of pedagogies basically we are uh, we have been using uh, in the science teaching, uh, and uh, what kind of challenges we are facing in in the science teaching. Please feel free, uh, feel free to share your ideas uh, because it is a kind of interactive session. That's why. Please, anyone, anyone can put. Yes, anyone can, who wants to uh, speak can unmute. Generally, or, generally, yeah, what yeah. Uh, what uh, pedagogy we we have been using or we have been practicing in the classroom? Yes, please. Anyone, anyone. Again, Pam uh, says uh, science cycle. Somebody says PBE. Can you please uh, say the full form of PBE? Project-based learning or right. I don't know, something else. Demo Maybe. inquiry, yes. Uh, demo or inquiry method, okay. Placed-based education. Again, uh, can you explain what do you mean by place-based education? We can also learn. Right. Design thinking, very nice. Again, yeah. you want to share what place-based teaching is? Yes, uh, I don't know whether you can hear. Uh, I'm. I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Please go ahead. Uh, the place-based education uh, is usually is one of the uh, strategy which we use for our MED students, and there are six uh, uh, six uh, types are there. Principles are there. So the inquiry is one. Interdisciplinary is two. Like then we have community as learner like this. Uh, there are six and design thinking is also one. So there are six uh, types again under that principle, and it's very applicable for teaching physics. Right. Uh, exactly. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. And uh, yes, um, uh, there are very good responses uh, from all of you. And uh, we we can can we uh, can you can you share about what type of the challenges we are facing in uh, in the science teaching also? What kind of the challenges or uh, do so? Do I think uh, uh, yes. to, today we have a, a lot of international audience. Uh, we have audience from Bhutan, from Afghanistan, from India, from Nepal. And I think this is a very uh, golden opportunity for us to learn from each other. Uh, so please do share what kind of challenges do you face in your own country uh, with respect to teaching of science? Yeah, Narayan sir says uh, practicing many ways, particularly activity-based, right? Activity-based is also very uh, perfect uh, pedagogy for the science also. Yeah, lack of internet facilities, right? Uh, yeah, uh, whenever we are uh, trying to, you know, use the ICT tools, uh, we have that type of difficulty. Yes, uh, uh, access uh, to the mobile, yes, that is also uh, in many cases for the students. Shortage of ICT or the computers, yes. Lack of resources, fine. Lack of resources means, uh, can you elaborate? Uh, 
what type of resources that you want to uh, say class size yes that is also correct yeah actually this resources part is very interesting for us and the teaching learning material what kind of resources suppose you have to teach current and electricity so what kind of resources do you need and what kind of challenges uh, do you face in teaching topics like current and electricity kati university mein hum mashish Excuse me. Yes. Uh, if I share from my own experiences in right. the classroom, especially in the laboratory, uh, the things are not sufficient for all the students. Good. And moreover, it takes lots of resources and like resources, uh, college resources in uh, in giving the chance for all the students to participate. A uh, long time when in our college, when we have 40, 50 students, then I think that uh, the resources in the college is like, it's more of group work, only the one who knows will lead and the, the others will be just simply watching long time back. But uh, now with the development in the technology, uh, in our college, we always ask the students to do a virtual experiments because it costs a nothing. And like the students have lots of opportunity to, to explore. So what they do is they, uh, the students, they design uh, an experiment with the hands-on, with a few lab apparatus in there. The similar kind is replicated by using the FET simulation or any other uh, virtual experiment which are available on the internet. Even uh, the one very common one we use is that Amrita, Amrita lab, I think they, they're, they're also, there are many experiments which we can perform as if we're in the class or in the laboratory. Exactly. Uh, so thank you, ma'am. Nicely explained. And uh, um, you have uh, shared about um, how we can, you know, compensate uh, about the lack of the resources. Yes, definitely. Uh, when Because in science, basically, experimentation is very essential part. And uh, sometimes what happens uh, to do the, to perform the experiment, we need a lot of the resources. Uh, and uh, it's it's sometimes not available. And some uh, sometimes it's very expensive. And sometimes it's very, you know, it is very difficult to control uh, over the different, uh, those type of the chemicals and all. So yeah, the, the virtual platform or the virtual uh, kind of resources uh, can be um, very effective, uh, you know, can supplement uh, the learning. Yes, exactly. So thank you very much, uh, all of you. Uh, so uh, now, yes, uh, now I'm, um, as my, uh, this uh, presentation or action research is all about this kind of uh, OERs or virtual uh, resources, uh, so, uh, Madam, uh, Ma'am, just before already said about the FET simulation, so uh, I just want to know that how many of you, uh, you know, know about this FET simulation and how uh, you, if you have already used, how actually you are using this FET simulation, please share your experiences or how uh, it can be made effective while teaching the science or especially physics or chemistry, whatever it may be. Floor is open for all of you. So I think what we can do first is uh, those who are familiar with FET simulation, if you can raise your hand right, or you yes. can, you know, uh, put a uh, emoji of correct one, raise your hand, at least we will know. Two people already know about FET simulation, three, yeah. four, yes. five, six, seven, yeah. So would any of you uh, like to share uh, how you have used FET simulation for uh, physics or chemistry or any of the topics and uh, whether you have found it useful? Any, any uh, other? Hello, yes. hello, hello. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, if I share, can you hear my voice? La? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, if, I, if I share my experience because uh, when I was doing my master, I did uh, my dissertation on this uh, simulation, the effectiveness of simulation. Therefore, in the process of uh, my uh, data collection, as well as in a school, when we use this fast simulation for various uh, relevant topics, 
there are some challenges challenges as because when students if you demonstrate that fast simulation by just teacher then the learning is not that much uh, effective whereas if you take the students in the lab when they practice themselves then we can see the the level of interest level of learning is much higher therefore the effectiveness is if you make the students to learn themselves we can see the level of their interest level of their motivation it is much much higher compared to our normal teaching thank you okay so exactly thank you very much sir so uh, fed simulation can be more effective if we allow the students to use by their own rather than teacher just demonstrate that yes exactly rightly said sir thank you sir any anybody else uh, you can you can also put your views if you have used already or if you have no, you know know about this um okay fine you can you can share uh, in the latter part also so now i just uh, yeah it is a uh, <clears throat> uh, fair simulation now i uh, i just give some basic uh, uh, this simulation is basically uh, uh, you know uh, it is a process right it is the process it is a model uh, in which we generally look uh, model the real world problems uh, in the in the right hand side figure it is a projectile motion right so uh, this projectile motion is modeled by by some uh, writing some codes and all that so uh, now it is uh, now when we uh, through the simulation with the help of simulation what we have we have a very opportunity like uh, it's it, it becomes interactive right so we can uh, uh, change the velocity of uh, various range we can change the angle so uh, basically uh, it is very uh, very uh, you know it, it in, enhances the our visualizations of the particular uh, problems uh, so by which the understanding or the conceptual understanding of the students can be raised so this is uh, the basic norms of the simulation so uh, basically uh, uh, you have uh, you few of you have already said that uh, this uh, this kind of the simulations like uh, one example is fair simulation and there can be other ways of the simulations also uh, so basically uh, simulation actually highlights uh, you know the visualization of the real world problem like right? uh, in the real world problem sometimes uh, you know some some things uh, uh, become like you know abstract in nature uh, whenever when we are teaching in just uh, theoretically they become abstract and sometimes uh, if we uh, try to uh, you know engage the student in the field uh, so sometimes it becomes very time consuming and all so uh, but if we use if we able to you know use uh, the simulation it become very uh, time less time consumption we can control the variables easily very less cost in comparison to the uh, you know directly go to the field and do the do such kind of things so yeah simulation has very vast importance especially uh, you know after the covid uh, you know most of the things are you know now digitalized so many digital materials are available nowadays uh so um, so now i'm just want to give about the sir can you use presentation mode please okay ma'am sure uh so uh and this uh i just want to give very uh, brief, brief uh, introduction of the fed simulation what exactly the fed simulation uh many of you have already know about this uh, so it is not necessary for just for instance uh so it is a uh, physics education technology it's a uh, it's acronym of the physics education technology and it was founded in 2002 uh so it basically its main goal is to you know engage the students uh through the by by uh, you know there are various options uh, uh of learning where students can learn by their own there are so many games and there are so many activities so uh, uh, even if the you know students can uh, learn independently also so this is a, a kind of open educational resource uh, which is uh, you know which do not require any kind of the license or or like that we do not need to pay anything and it is very free to use uh, we do not uh, uh, have to so pay anything like that uh, so this is uh, the fed simulation and uh, um, this is uh, you know um, uh, developed by the colorado uh, university uh, so this is one of the uh, this form so uh, okay uh, so now i have uh, one uh, question or common question for all the teachers over here uh, uh, can you uh, recall 
what kind of the challenges uh, we have been facing in teaching especially the electricity yeah uh, teachers have already said about the, their challenges in science also but especially when whenever we are teaching electricity topic what kind of the challenges we are facing can can anybody recall or anybody share what challenges are there in uh, teaching electricity chances of burning the instrument okay yeah right. there is a, a very big fire hazard uh -huh. yes exactly yes any other you can any other conceptual challenges what conceptual right. challenges do students face what concepts are difficult for students making students visualize the flow of electrons around the and the current right resource cri crisis particularly we do not have required materials locally or commercially okay yeah so uh, abstractness okay abstract yeah. concept okay so uh so thank you very much uh all of you instrument handling yes yeah definitely uh, so electricity in basically in electricity whenever we are teaching uh, in the classroom uh, theoretically you know it is quite abstract for example we are talking about a current we are talking about resistance right so uh, so uh, uh, potential difference and so many things so they uh, you know they somewhat they feel kind of boring and uh, most in most of the cases and student uh, not interested to learn and they found they find this electricity topic very difficult and on the other hand if we uh, try if we uh, you know uh, uh, try to perform the laboratory based activities of this electricity so it is very sensitive or uh, i mean that uh, we require so many precautions because uh, as one of the sir already said you know there is a kind of burning there is the chance of burning or there is a, there may be current there there is the leakage of the current also so it can harm uh, you know us also uh, so uh, yeah these, these kind of the challenges especially in the lab lab based activities and even uh, whenever we are using theoretical also so uh, uh, so <clears throat> this is through the fed simulation uh, through the fed simulation uh, there are some uh, some uh, some of the uh, you know topics although uh, fed simulation does not cover all the topics this is one of the uh, i can say that limitation or uh, one of the uh, limitation of this fed because in the because in, the, in our syllabus or in our fed group, it consists of various topics but all the topics are not covered in the uh, fed but uh, there are some um, uh, topics which are covered, which uh, which can be done with the help of the fed simulation. So uh, now, what I want, what I am trying to do is that uh, I just uh, try to show basically three activities uh, of uh, doing the electrical, uh, especially in case in uh, teaching the electrical circuit, right? For example, uh, the series combination of the resistors and parallel combination of the resistor and simply the ohms law basically yeah there are other uh, things can be but uh, but i just planning to uh, demonstrate two three activities over here so basically uh, if you are new for the fed simulation so first what we uh, i will also demonstrate through the another browser window also uh, so basically we need to follow uh, the steps like uh, we first open the website uh, this is the website i can uh, i will post in the chat also now and then uh, we will uh, uh, we need to go to uh, physics uh, there are so many uh, you know other subjects also and there are construction kit so uh, now i just move to the my browser so uh, so that um, it, you will feel uh, clearly so yeah sir you can put the link of the website okay. also on the chat okay fine so this is the website fed.colorado.edu when we uh, click this one uh, you can if you are in a laptop you can also try this one uh, okay now it is opening uh, okay so uh, when we click uh, this website uh, this kind of interface uh, will we can see this kind of interface and there are so many things uh, 
uh, you can you can just browse and you can also explore about these things but right now i as i'm uh, you know trying to uh, show the demonstration of the electricity so uh, yeah there are various subjects physics chemistry mathematics there are some simulation of the biology there are some simulation of earth science right so you can explore by your own ladder so uh, then uh, i just click on the physics right because uh, current electricity means uh, it is included in the physics uh, subject uh, so they are in physics also there are about 53 results these are 53 various uh, topics right over there uh, you can see that there are so many topics of the optics there are so many uh, topics of other things also uh, so uh, electrical circuit kit ac electrical circuit uh, kit uh, dc but right now uh, i will show about uh, that of dc uh, example uh, okay so uh, electrical circuit construction kit dc uh, after uh, now you can open this one circuit construction kit uh, DC. When we click on this, uh, it will uh, fill uh, now opening, right? Circuit construction kit, right? Uh, so there are also so many like uh, there are some teacher teaching act resources. There are uh, you know activities and so many things. You can browse later and just see. And uh, now there is the play type button. We just click on this. If we click on this, it will open. It will open. Uh, yeah, it will uh, open simultaneously. Okay, now opening. Okay, fine. So now uh, I just click on this and uh, okay. this kind of interface, uh, you will see, uh, you will see this kind of interface over here right so uh, now i'm i'm just uh, showing you the series combination of the resistors right for example how the resistors can be connected in the series combination so uh, there are various in the in the left hand side you can see this is the wire this is battery this is light bulb this is resistor this is switch if you scroll down there are so many other things like fuse dollar bill this paper clip and all uh, so basically um in the in the you know in the whenever when we are you know drawing the electrical circuit uh so we have different symbols right wire battery this light bulb switch resistor so you we can uh we can show both ways right so here also uh in electrical circuit this one shows the you know flow of the electrons uh as uh, one uh, one of the sir also highlighted that uh, it is difficult to show the direction of the flow of the electrons and uh, if we click on this then the electrical circuit shows the flows of conventional conventional direction of the current this is the level and this is the values right so let me uh, just draw one of the uh, one example and uh, for example I, I have taken one resistor here and uh, okay i have connected this with a wire this one is wire we can just increase its length as per our desire uh, how much big or smaller is the circuit on the basis of that so um, now i take on this another wire i now i take another resistor now for instance i am just taking two resistors only uh, right so again i have connected this with this wire and now okay so here this uh okay now i'm putting the battery this one okay this one that right uh, okay okay now i just take the switch this for on off purpose uh, right so this is wire so this is this one so okay fine so um, if if uh, in in this uh, in electrical circuit form symbol form it will look like this right these are the resistors this is the battery and this is the switch right if we click on this if we click on this it shows the values it shows the values here <coughs> the resistance value is 10 ohm here also 10 ohm and uh, this uh, voltage uh, battery's voltage is 10 uh, 9 uh, voltage 
uh, when we switch on right now this is showing the flow of electrons right this is the flow of electron when we click on this now it is showing the flow of current flow of conventional direction of the current which always flows from positive to the negative terminal so if i click on this it shows the uh, flow of electrons right when i again click on this the circuit will be break down and uh, now what we can do that for example this is uh, in lab based activities uh, you, you know we have one particular resistor if we want to change the resistor we have to again disconnect it and and uh, we need to put another resistor over here but here we have the facility that when uh, we can increase or decrease the resistance in our hand right so here uh, you can you can uh, uh, increase its resistance up to 120 ohm right so it is it's very it become very effective similarly uh, similarly you can uh, you can do the same for this resistor also uh, this battery for this battery also although for instance it, it is 9 volt right but uh, we can increase its voltage up to 120 volt so as per our interest or uh, what what is our intention like that so uh, now uh, whenever we click when on when we are click on this we get this one right so uh, now if we want to find the voltage right if we want to find the potential difference across this resistor uh, so what we can do we can just uh, take these two points over here and it sway it swing the it's showing the voltage this is a uh, 20.02 and similarly if we want to find the potential difference across this 10 ohm resistor it is showing that 6.92 right 6.92 so similarly we can find the voltage uh, potential differences from here now what uh, what we can show uh, to the students that uh, let let we can increase the resistance right whenever we are increasing the resistance and what is the change in the value of the voltage what is the change in the value of the potential difference we can we can discuss in the class right so this is one way uh, similarly, uh, in case of the current also, it is now, uh, I am just taking the emitter. This is the emitter. If I want to find the current, so I just put this uh, emitter over here and it is now showing uh, the 0 0.37 ampere, right? So uh, similarly, if I let, let, let us, uh, you know, increase the resistance, if we increase the resistance, right? If we increase the resistance, what is the variation? what is the variation in the value of the voltage and what is the variation in the value of the current we can demonstrate uh, in this way so uh, we can we can take three resistors four resistors right and we can change the value simultaneously and so many kind of interactive things we can do so uh, i just want to uh, you ask all of you uh, whether when can be helpful for uh, you know teaching electricity or teaching the circuit uh, problem what do you think please or you can type or you can just uh, speak also what do you think it is very much helpful sir it carry on. okay thank you yes what kind of concepts can you teach using this material ohms law i think yeah ohms law is a very uh, good way to demonstrate by using this instrument uh, sorry this simulation okay ohms law yeah and then after uh, circuit uh, combination series and parallel combination of this uh, circuit uh, load also right yeah we can actually teach so many circuit related also problems. Yeah, yeah they can all they can also learn about the uh, different uh, symbols uh, to put in the circuits itself uh, they can also learn about different uh, you know uh, type of instruments that can be used to measure voltage current and uh, the concepts of resistance they can uh, even perhaps uh, you know understand the pattern uh, that is there in the ohm's law itself yes yes, yes, yes exactly a student can design yes definitely a student can design basically what happens you know um, uh, in the real in the lab based activities so uh, you know it's a very a kind of 
uh, you know the risk also sometimes uh, to connect the resistors to connect the to play with the voltage or the batteries it's you know uh, sometimes very tedious or you know risky thing but here they can uh, they can put the resistors of any value right yeah, very interactive we can change the values we can change the values of the current resistors potential differences as per our interest and all so uh, from this we can teach the ohms law or we can teach uh, so many circuit related problem because uh, this uh, this kind of series and parallel combination is uh, not only in the 9th and 10th it is also useful in the even in the high school uh, physics also so most of the students still feel you know they are very you know nervous to find the equivalent resistance to find the current and to find the voltage so we can construct a kind of uh, complicated circuit also from here right uh, if we if uh, as per our interest and our desire uh, so similarly i am not going through in uh, very other details so similarly we can connect the resistors uh, as i have connected in the series you can also connect the resistors in the parallel combination and similarly we can find the voltage we can find the current we can see the relationships we can compare right and uh, what we can do also is uh, we can just uh, increase the value and uh, uh, without putting the this uh, this voltage what happens if we do not put this uh, you know it does not show any kind of uh, you know voltage and current but we can we can discuss we can say for example i have uh, you know uh, now i i have increased this value to the 88 ohm now we can ask the class that uh, now find the current now what is the value of the uh, potential difference across this now what is the value of current we can we can just uh, you know make conversation with the students then uh, they will they will find they will do numerically and now we what we can do we can just take this uh, and uh, they 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 can find also so this kind of activity we can do or sometimes if we allow them uh, to uh, to do by their own also we can design some task right we can uh, we can give some uh, complicated type circuit and uh, ask them to construct in the fit and find the values of uh, uh, of this current or values also so this much so uh, especially if we just want to teach the ohms law there is one uh, sim uh, simulation in the in the fit which is very already uh, you know ready made uh, material we can say uh, it just uh, shows the value of the voltage and current uh, so it is for very basic idea for example if we increase the voltage right if we increase the voltage and current also increases it it's uh, it is showing through the diagram also and uh, similarly uh, we can increase the resistance if we increase the resistance it is showing the relation of the current and the resistance right if we increase the resistance current decreases which is shown by both by the diagram and both by the values also this is uh, a bit simple but we can um, uh, connect a different kind of circuit like this uh, so uh, this much uh, for this uh, construction part if we have if you have any kind of queries uh, regarding this um, uh, circuit problem or uh, like uh, connection of the electrical circuit through the fit you can ask me now also do you have any any concern or any 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 questions regarding this one anyone any questions any doubts any doubts or even you are thinking like how we can use how we can uh, you implement in the class you know uh, or we can say that if okay we, this is the way but uh, can is it can be uh, you know we can easily use in the class or what kind of the challenges we can we may face in the class if when we try to implement in the class you can you can say about the challenges uh, so uh, so thank you you can you can type your concern there also uh, otherwise yes uh, so sometimes uh, yeah um, Sim in in case of this field simulation i i also uh, said before also uh, it uh, okay can you make our own there is, can you make your own field simulation uh, not right now but you can translate in your own language right that is possible yeah 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 we can you cannot make you if you have if you want to make your own field simulation you will have to learn coding and uh, if you know about the program called scratch 
uh, you can make uh, certain uh, animations there but still it takes you know a lot of uh, uh, knowledge about coding to make these kind of uh, simulations yes right uh, okay so thank you very much uh, so simulation uh, in uh, in case of this pet simulation yeah sometimes uh, uh, the limitation is that you know uh, one uh, we we need the ICT infrastructure in our uh, uh, school basically and uh, uh, one uh, sir already said that it is it is better it is effective uh, to use the fit simulation if we allow our students to use by their own rather than teacher demonstrating the fit simulation so uh, so uh, to allow the students so it requires large number of the co uh, computers or uh, pcs uh, that depends on the number of the students in your schools so um, what we can manage if we able to uh, you know uh, implement this this is uh, one of the very best uh, i can say that yeah there are other simulation also but it 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 will be also very effective uh, you can try also uh, okay so uh, challenges i have already said about this one so uh, now i am just uh, moving to my uh, third part and uh, i have already said to you uh, especially in this uh, third section uh, i will uh, share about my experiences of this uh, doing this action research under this matpd project uh, so before that i just want to uh, give very i i hope i all of you know about this action research because action research is very common word for the teachers so um, action research is basically you know act there is there is some action or we can say that there is some intervention uh, in our uh, you know uh, in the system and uh, uh, it basically it is a cyclic process right we have we we are we have uh, we firstly we design we are designing something or we are planning uh, something especially in case of the teaching we are we have certain plan and on the basis of that plan, we go into the class and uh, perform that. We act on that. And uh, uh, when we perform that, we observe the student's per perspex, uh, perspective or student performance and other things, whatever we want to know. And uh, after observation, we reflect, right? We reflect uh, on the things, uh, whether that goes when, or that, or that went well or not. And again, on the basis of our uh, you know uh, limitations or drawbacks we again replan that and so it is basically a refined a refinement process it, it's a long lasting process we can say so and its main intention is that we just try we just want to improve our practices we just want to improve our current practices uh, we can say uh, so this is uh, about the action research uh, so uh, this uh, under uh, working with this uh, MATPT project, uh, so uh, basically um, I actually uh, worked with the five teachers, five 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 science teachers uh, of the different schools. Uh, from each school, I have selected one science teacher, and uh, uh, before uh, that, uh, we have made you know uh, a collective lesson plan and other activities. We have designed activities. Uh, uh, of for teaching electricity by incorporating the FET activities. Like for example, I already demonstrated you uh, uh, the series combination, parallel combination, how we can connect it, that, and so many things. And uh, after then, the, those teachers taught in their respective uh, respective schools um, of the that chapter current electricity, and uh, then. Um, uh, I observed and also they, they, the teachers also shared their experiences. Uh, I collected uh, what uh, they feel after using this head simulation in the classroom. And I also conducted, uh, you know, FGT, focus group uh, discussion with a few uh, students uh, to collect their experiences, uh, uh, to collect the students' experiences also. Uh, and uh, these are some uh, pictures uh, of, uh, you know, implementation of the FET simulation inside the classroom. So basically, uh, in the initial phase, uh, uh, the teachers uh, demonstrated, uh, uh, you know, use the demonstration method. Uh, but uh, we then uh, we realized that uh, instead of, uh, you know, demonstration, it will be very effective if we allow uh, our students to use the FET by their own. Then uh, we managed uh, somehow, and uh, in the next cycle, in the second cycle, 
uh, students we uh, allocated uh, you know uh, computers to the group of the student and they uh, they uh, do by their own and we also found that it was uh, very effective and to uh, when they use the fit by their own rather than teacher demonstration yeah when the teacher was demonstration uh, by the fit it was effective but not at as compared to that because um, as it is you know ict tools there is uh, there is very kind of visualization so many effect uh, even the teacher demonstrated in case uh, for example if there are so many large number of the student if the size of the class is very large and if there is lag of infrastructure we can just uh, demonstrate also that that can be also helpful but if we able to manage uh, the computers to a group of students for example four or five uh, students and giving one computer to each and then ask them to do their by their own that would be very much more effective uh, so these are some of the Premrat sir, why don't you tell them like how you even managed to create batches and send the student in batches so that they were able to use the computer in groups, right? Because uh, right. when the class is large, you even try to manage that, right? Uh, yes, yes, exactly. Thank you. So uh, in case um, uh, in uh, for the large uh, class, uh, what we have uh, uh, do that we have uh, 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 different divided the students in the various groups and uh, uh, you know uh, manage our time manage the time because uh, science period is you know it's uh, just a one period in a day so we can we can divide them and uh, so we uh, you know encourage the students to come little bit earlier in the morning for example if uh, school starts at 10 a.m. We uh, call some students to come at 9 a.m. so that they can practice. Similarly, we uh, ask some students to come after 4 o'clock. So in this way, uh, they they have got uh, you know experience of using the fit. So uh, we can do like this. Uh, this uh, also, if the class size is very large and we have very uh, limited number of the resources. So these are the stages uh, of uh, you know implementation of the fit. Uh, in our in the several schools so uh, in the action research basically uh, in the two cycle in the first cycle uh, we have uh, we have taught uh, current electricity uh, uh, in the grade 9 and in the second cycle uh, we used uh, we uh, taught the chemical reaction balancing the chemical reaction uh, in the second half in the second cycle uh, but uh, i have included about uh, this uh, current electricity only here uh, so uh, now uh, now i am uh, uh, collecting or uh, you know listing some of the points you know responses the common responses what the teachers have after uh, implementing you know fit simulation uh, throughout the action research uh, uh, because they are also engaged with me from a long time so what i have uh, what they have said that uh, fit has really increased uh, you know it has really increased the visualization purpose because if we are teaching in a you know theoretical based you know it's it's very uh, you know abstract in nature so it uh, one of the very big advantage is the visualization right we a student can see for example in the uh, direction of the current and uh, electron also they can see actually where the current is flowing, where the current, where the electron is flowing that. So uh, uh, even in case of the risk also, there, there are very no any kind of risk, right? But in lab-based activities, we need to, uh, you know, uh, be aware of uh, so many kind of the precautions. So interactive means, uh, you know, we can change the, we have a control about the variable right? We can change the resistance as per our interest. We can change the voltage and so on. Similarly, the teachers have uh, said that the engagement of the students generally in comparison to the conventional class you know engagement was quite uh, you know very effective uh, because it's a uh, quite new and uh, it's been engaging and they are doing learning by fun and another thing that teachers say that you know because of nowadays the children are you know very uh, intact with the ICT tools, basically mobile and computers. And uh, if they, you know, get the opportunity uh, in uh, to learn through that applications, they also find, uh, you know, it is uh, uh, it is very useful or they they find effective. So students can do, uh, you know, can do at the home also. They they shared about that. So uh, similarly. Um, uh, I uh, after the focus group discussion with the teachers, a uh, few students, 
they also say that it's not boring right sometimes they say that uh, when uh, you know sometimes science uh, basically or theoretically a teacher used to teach uh, you know in a theoretical base and sometimes they feel bored but through the fit you know they uh, they do not found, they do not bored you know in any way they find in a, in a enjoyment and they also say that is easy to understand uh, you know after after studying through the fit and uh, also uh, they the, some of the students also highlighted the point that they liked it because they can learn with the help of the mobile and the computers because i already said that nowadays children are basically you know engaged with the mobiles and all these applications so this is very uh, uh, these are the points that they have shared so uh, after throughout this uh, after the completion of this uh, action research uh, of uh, implementation of the fed simulations what i have uh, you know concluded that fed simulation uh, helps in students engagement because uh, the engagement of the students is one of the very greatest problem of uh, you know nowadays children because um, students are now you know a kind of distraction or students uh, you know especially i don't know uh, in case of other parts but especially in in case of our countries nowadays it's a very big challenge uh, to engage the student in learning that is and uh, we uh, along uh, by working with the teachers and uh, uh, even i also working with uh, the schools uh, i also found we found that it it can helps or it can enhance the engagement of the student in the learning and another point is the collaboration collaboration is one of the very important skill for the 21st century students and uh, uh, how we said uh, how we can concluded that because uh, we have divided the students in various groups and uh, allocated that allocated them a pc or computer and what we have observed that whenever they are you know doing the circuit there is quite very uh, big uh, you know interaction they are discussing someone saying this someone saying, no no this one no no this one so basically there are some games also in other topics uh, if we if we search in a uh, in the game also they are also there is very good kind of interaction among the students which is very effective for the students so all, another point uh, we uh, we uh, concluded is the uh, to improve the student performance yeah um, uh, after uh, working with the teachers the teacher says that you know uh, even the some of the, some students were very poor or we can say they are not their performance was very weak in the in the science but when the teacher have implemented fit their performance was found uh, you know drastically changed so uh, this is also in most of the teachers have said that they they realized that uh, no fit has increased or uh, it has in, enhanced the student performance and uh, along with that uh, it increases the student interest uh, yeah, towards the, towards the learning and uh, i and this point already most of uh, uh, you and uh, i also said you know it it can act as a you know a supplement of the lab based activities so lab based activities are very essential we cannot you know um, uh, demotivate that uh, but uh, somehow we can, it it can be a supplementary of that because in the lab based activities we cannot uh, you know use several kind of uh, variables at the same time but here we can do because here we do not have any kind of risk or whatever it may be so uh, this uh, 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 this fed simulation uh, is very you know innovative uh, pedagogy uh, can which can be used in the science teaching yeah there are other uh, other simulation technique also um, uh, uh, like for example olab or other things also which can also be very useful uh, but as i have uh, worked with this i i found this very interesting and this is very engaging and uh, after uh, now i am uh, about at the end of uh, this uh, you know this project also Mm, but uh, now after uh, during the completion of this uh, you know project i realized that this uh, fed simulation uh, is very important the, the knowledge of this uh, simulation is important for the teachers also so i uh, personally i uh, encourage many science teachers and i am also planning that uh, to give the trainings to uh, the schools uh, about this fed simulation and how we can use it in, for the better learning Uh, you know in the mathematics in the science also uh, so uh, i am now about at the end of uh, 
of this presentation and i would also like to uh, you know uh, thank to my academic mentor mr dagat mulla sir and film mentor anitra manandar sir and similarly i am very much thankful to the uh, tiss team and uh, all the facilitators uh, for this uh, opportunity uh, so thank you very much and now you can uh, pose your raise your questions regarding this uh, uh, presentation please feel, feel free you can share so you can stop sharing and uh, now we will take the questions from everyone so if you have any questions please let us know any questions for uh, imrat sir or any questions in general itself if you if i think you have already used uh, this pet simulation you can also share experience because i yeah. just share my experience like uh, i may be wrong also sometimes because in my context i found that you know if you have used yeah. already uh, in in your context how it works whether it works or not you can share because from that also we learn yes yes uh, there was a question there that why did you select electric circuits as your topic of the uh, first topic itself uh yeah so okay so uh, the reason to choose the electrical circuit is that uh, you know uh, i have uh, after knowing knowing about this pet simulation i have gone through you know uh, i explored that and i found that it would be effective because uh, i i in from my teaching experience and uh, from my childhood i also found this electricity a bit of you know challenging like that so uh, why don't i you know use this one so that's why that is the reason i have selected that uh, there is another person asking if you can normally do it on google and how do you find the effectiveness of fet in teaching the concept i think that has okay. been answered by the presentation but please if you can yeah. you know what uh, exactly so, was effective yeah. effectiveness in the sense that uh, basically uh, uh you know students interest students engagement and uh, students collaboration has found in uh, enhanced uh, as for our you know uh, this uh, action research so we have concluded that this is effective for the uh, teaching the concept or teaching uh, science overall we can say that uh, pedagogy 11 class uh, okay yeah in the in the 11 12 class uh, also yeah there are some uh, some as i already said that uh, as fed does not covers all the topics but i have yes i have uh, uh, demonstrated some of the uh, fed simulations in the 11th and 12th class too okay yeah uh, so i wanted to ask one question uh, Premrat. so in terms of when you work started working with teachers itself what kind of challenges did you face in working with teachers uh, you know because action research i know is something uh, which is very common in nepal and all teachers are expected to do it but we also know that action research is very very difficult and in uh, doing this kind of research where we have to collaborate with five different teachers who are across different schools itself uh, what kind of challenges did you face and and did working together these five teachers working together did it give you an opportunity to learn from each other and if so what were those learnings uh, so uh, thank you very much ma'am so basically uh, uh, working with the teachers uh, you know it was very novel experience for me before this MITPT project, I did not have the idea to work with the teachers, right? Because uh, working with the teachers is uh, the one of the biggest challenges that they have already, you know, engaged with some institution or they have already uh, their time for some institutions. So now one thing is that um, the time problem, right? Uh, for example, one teacher have the free time but at the same time, another teacher was busy in somewhere else. And another thing is that uh, uh, now uh, in this action research or any type of uh, action research uh, they are the, they are the participant although the they are they have you know they they will also learn from this but in in the initial phase uh, sometimes it uh, seems very you know difficult to motivate them 
right? And they are thinking that why should we do this or why why we are, why we need need to do this? We are uh, teaching by our own method like that. So it was uh, you know tedious, very uh, very tedious to convince them that how. Uh, this uh, although now now you are working or you are doing for uh, you know for this project but this will ultimately it will also enhance your skills and your ideas so uh, so that was also a challenge I, and somewhat i uh, tried my best uh, to motivate the teachers and uh, yeah and uh, challenge means uh, you know sometimes you know the uh, schools are so much far and uh, all the five teachers getting at a common place and they are discussing with each other that is also a bit of challenge so there are some challenge but uh, i think i somehow managed uh, to perform this task yes ma'am thank you yeah so there are questions about how did you judge the effectiveness of the uh, method itself did you take any exam uh, of the teachers or did you use any tools uh, besides the interview of the teachers? Uh, yes. Did you take so, any right. tools were used? Yeah, exactly. Um, rightly said, um, especially uh, uh, my ex-missers was, uh, you know, ab aligned about the qualitative uh, research. Uh, so, um, yeah, in some schools, teachers have taken a test after implementation of the FED, but not uh, so no, i can say that the exam or this uh, this is not the tool for uh, that instance uh, but yes uh, tools means uh, on the basis of the teachers experiences on the basis of the uh, students responses and even uh, from my own observation of the class uh, you know uh, i i have we have concluded that and it was effective yes that we can say that my observation and uh, teachers interview students interview that they may be the tools important to highlight here what was the focus of your action research was the focus of action research was to uh, you know support teachers in adopting this pedagogy or was the focus of action research was to develop students concept about uh, circuits and uh, electricity so if you uh, make the focus clearer i think it will be more uh, uh, clear to the audience Okay, right. Um, so, can you say with what was your focus? Uh, okay, so the focus means uh, basically uh, the major focus was uh, you know uh, to improve the pedagogy, uh, you know this innovative pedagogies to improve the pedagogies of the science teaching. That is the major focus uh, because this is one of the innovative pedagogies if if uh, the teachers implemented this uh, you know uh, oer or we can say that uh, this simulation based technique uh, how it can be you know uh, effective like that so uh, that that was my major intention but at the same time uh, as the teachers have used uh, this fed in the class and uh, uh, they 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 have you know i have collected the responses and they uh, on the basis of those responses i have also Mm, uh, I can also judge that yes, it it uh, can uh, you know improve the student performance. But my primary intention was to enhance the teachers' pedagogical uh, skills. Yes, so I think uh, that is a very important part. And if it if the focus was on enhancing teachers' skills, uh, then on the basis of observation itself, if you can. Uh, you can say what was the trajectory of the teachers in terms of what kind of pedagogical skills they were using in the beginning and after the two cycles, what were the new pedagogical skills that they had started to use in the classroom. Right. Uh, okay. Hmm. Which action research uh, model do you incorporate in your, which action research model do you? So you can show your PPT. I think the model is there in that, the cyclic model. Yeah. Yeah, you can share your PPT again. Uh, so uh, this is the model basically, uh, plan, act, re uh, observe, reflect, again, replan. This is the model which I have, uh, used uh, through in the action research. Do you want to uh, know about this model or something else, sir? 
Uh, I just uh, asked because I like uh, uh, you didn't mention that which model you are following. Just you have a cyclic. Uh, right. Must have brought. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, so sorry, I am not able to mention the model, but uh, yeah, this is this uh, cyclic model I have used. Uh, yeah. So thank you for suggestion. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, if, are there any more questions? I, I want to also share a feedback form uh, that we generally have for School Synergy. It will be very grateful if you can fill this up because it will uh, give a sense of the uh, international audience that we have here and uh, what are their expectations and uh, uh, whether they found it useful or not. So uh, thank you uh, so much. We can continue the conversation. Uh, while we are filling up the form, we can be here itself. Uh, if there are any other people who want to share, uh, you know, uh, their experiences in using uh, ICT or, uh, uh, you know, uh, using any of the FET simulation, uh, we will be very happy to hear uh, those experiences. Because the School Synergy uh, platform is not just for, uh, you know, uh, disseminating the information. It is a platform where we can build our knowledge. Um, and uh, so we will be very happy if people also, other people also would be willing to share. I'm putting the link of the feedback form in the chat. Uh, I request everyone to please go there, uh, click on the link and fill up the feedback form for us. It will also give us a sense of which countries and, uh, you know, uh, which place you are all from. And I also hope that you all uh, join, continue to join the School Synergy Seminars in the future. Uh, we also have a Telegram uh, group uh, uh, in which we have around 800 uh, teachers already, uh, mostly from India. And uh, if you are interested in continuing the conversation uh, on the School Synergy uh, group, uh, you can also join the group. I generally post whatever, uh, you know, uh, new uh, sessions that we are doing uh, on this group itself. And uh, you come to know uh, by being in the group itself. Just let me copy this and share with you. Uh, I also request uh, teachers uh, if they have prior experience or of using the FET or any other uh, simulation uh, based pedagogies, uh, they can share their experience, whether how they have used that also. Yeah, just uh, sharing that. If you want to join the Telegram group, you should have installed the Telegram first and then you have to click on this link. Yeah, we are waiting for you to share about your use of ICT or pet simulation or any other pedagogy that you have used for teaching science. Anyone wants to share? Anyone? Okay, I think people are not yet. Uh, they might be filling up the feedback form, uh, Prem Raj sir. Okay. Yeah. So we'll give some time to them to fill it up. I must say that uh, all of you have been lovely uh, audience and uh, Prem Raj sir, thanks a lot for having such an interactive webinar uh, with all of us and sharing the work that you have done in Nepal with teachers. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, good evening to all. Yes, uh, Kezan, yes, please go ahead. I'm from Bhutan and uh, I'm just a beginner teacher. First time uh, and uh, it's uh, very tough for tough being a teacher. 
um i have my lectures over here also who are like uh, they have invited me this uh, in this uh program i mean like uh, web uh, like uh, online program and i'm pretty much happy to join you all and gain some experience and i'm also have like uh, to share my experience, I've all, all I've also used my uh, like FET simulation most of my classes. I'm a physics teacher, and uh, I usually use this uh, when the the children are really confused with the visualizing because uh, physics are more things to do with the emotions and all. So I use most of the time use FET simulation for to give the visualization uh, for my students. Uh, like I have. Uh, used mostly like refraction and all um, like electromagnetism also like Faraday's law a lot explain Faraday's laws and all and with this I have uh, gained I have understood that children love interacting with it um, like computer things and all unfortunately uh, like I'm not able to take every student in the lab and gain uh, give them like experience hands-on experience with this uh, simulation um, this would be my <laughs> biggest regretful for my last year I, I hope I would uh, be able to do this uh, this year and uh, the, uh, with the simple demonstration if they could understand with the exp exp uh, and if they are given with the experience I think they will learn more like Sir Prem Raj already like have done some research on this and I appreciate Sir for inviting us here and spending your um your time with us and sharing your experiences thank you sir thank you for uh this for inviting uh the teachers all over the con uh, other countries thank you yeah you're always welcome uh, kezang to join again and again we would be very happy in fact we want to make this platform uh, as a very good exchange among south asian uh, teachers and teacher educators uh, I think we have a lot to learn from each other because all of us are in almost uh, same situation with uh, working with very low resource context. Um, you know, we know that ICT labs are not available, uh, but uh, even uh, uh, for, you know, if you get uh, the ICT lab for one period and you're able to use this kind of material to work with students, it does have a uh, uh, very good impact on it. In even if you are not able to use the ICT lab, I do have a suggestion. Please yes. don't feel that it is something that needs to be done only with ICT. You can yes. even create these cardboard, uh, you know, uh, uh, pieces uh, uh, which resembles, you know, the symbols of these resistors of uh, the battery and everything. And you can uh, ask the students to connect it in different uh, ways. Uh, the only thing missing would be, the, yes, the animation of uh, how the electron flows and the current flows, that would not be there. But they can play in a group. And so one, uh, uh, two people in a group, suppose, are making the circuit. The other two people would be uh, responsible for evaluating the circuit, whether it works or not. And uh, mm -hmm. then the, perhaps at some point of time, the teacher can come in and say that, you know, whether they should try out this circuit by actually making and connecting the wires or not. Because uh, we know, you know, there might be issues in terms of asking students to try everything that they want to. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Uh, like, I have never thought about this. <laughs> it was yeah. good learning for me. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much. To try, I would love to try. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So thanks so much, uh, all of you, for being here. I hope you have filled up the form. Just let me check how many responses I have got. I have got around 11 responses right now. I just hope that other people also are filling up the form and are submitting it. Uh, if you're not facing any issues, I hope, in filling up the form, I'll just share the link once more and then we will say bye. Okay, this one. Yeah. 
So I will share the feedback form link once again. Yeah. Okay. So with this, we sign off. Uh, thank you so much, Prem Raj sir. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, if you want, you can just put on your uh, camera for uh, just one minute and we can take, uh, one of us can take screenshot. Uh, Sarita, uh, if you're listening, uh, is it possible for you to uh, take the screenshots? Wait for a minute, Ruch. I'm doing it. Yeah. Yeah, so nice to see everyone's faces. Thank you so much for opening your cameras. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Just wait for a, one more minute. I think uh, Sarita will let us know when she has taken the screenshot. Yeah. So we can put our favorite emojis on the screen if we want. I have, uh, my favorite is that uh, where the all the balloons are coming. Yeah, what Bukian <laughs> is showing. Yeah, I'm trying to find that. Yes. I'm done, Ruchi. Okay. Thank you so much, Sarita. Okay, then. Bye, everyone. Uh, okay. See you Thank again. You. Bye, bye. Uh, we will, bye, bye. Bye, bye. See you. Thank you. We will have the next session on 10th of March uh, in the evening. Uh, a slightly later than uh, today. I think 3 p.m. is a bit difficult time for uh, other teachers in India to join, as we can see. Uh, so we will start a little bit late, around 4 p.m. on 10th of March. See you all. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.